And now, uh, Major General Frank Babala, he assumed duties as the Adjutant General of the Delaware National Guard on February 1, 1999. As Adjutant General, he is responsible for the mission readiness of all Delaware National Guard units for both federal and state missions. The General's military service began in 1967 when he enlisted in the Delaware Army National Guard as a private. He was commissioned a signal officer after completing the Delaware Military Academy Officer Cabinet School in 1970. Prior to this assignment, General Babala served as the Commander, 77th Troop Command, Deputy Commander, State Area Command, and Assistant Adjutant General, Delaware Army National Guard. In that capacity, he was responsible for mission readiness of all Delaware Army National Guard units to support federal and state missions. He commands 2,700 soldiers and airmen who regularly deploy across the globe, usually in harm's way. And something he never puts in his uh, bio is that from uh, 2008 to 2009, he served as, actually it was 2007 to 2009, two-year stint, he served as president of the Adjutant Generals Association of the United States of America, uh, head of uh, all the adjutant uh, generals uh, in the country. That was the first time such a position was held by uh, someone from uh, Delaware. I uh, served for three years in the Army National Guard, and uh, it was a privilege to do some work uh, for General Babel. I consider him a friend, and no matter who you talk to, he is a true soldier's general. He speaks in terms of the Guard family. He said it, he means it, and I'm glad to introduce him here. Thank you. I'm truly in awe following uh, two great warriors. Thank you for your service, General Reynolds. And uh, I'm blessed to follow my battle buddy, Brigadier General Terry Wiley. As an aside, let me tell you, no greater soldier than General Wiley. He will retire this February with almost 40 years of service to our state. Thank you. It is truly my honor and privilege to be here at this long overdue and much anticipated event. To all of the veterans out there, welcome home, brothers and sisters. The monument that we dedicate today continues to help heal the spiritual and psychological wounds suffered by those who fought in Vietnam. They are really part of us, part of our story. They reflect the best in us. No number of wreaths, no amount of music and memorializing will ever do them justice. But it is for us that we honor them and their sacrifice. And it's good that we do this here in a very prominent and visible location in the first city of Delaware, in the center of the first state. Today we pay homage not only to those who gave their lives, but to you, their comrades, present today, and those all across our great country. You didn't forget. You kept the faith. You fought on, sustained by one another and deaf to the voices of those who didn't comprehend your service. You performed with a steadfastness and valor that veterans of other wars salute. You are forever in the ranks of that special number of Americans in every generation that the nation records as true patriots. The war in Vietnam threatened to tear our society apart, and the political and philosophical disagreements that animated each side continue even to this day. We cannot forget them because there's no wisdom to be gained in forgetting. We need to learn from them. The men and women of Vietnam fought for freedom in a place where liberty was in danger. They put their lives in danger to help a people in a land far away from their own. Many sacrificed their lives in the name of duty, 
honor, and country. And 26 names from Kent County rest on this memorial. All were patriots who lit the world with their fidelity and with their courage. We will never forget them and their devotion and sacrifice. They stand before us like the monument that we commemorate today, marching into time and into shared memory forever. May God bless these great Vietnam veterans, our country, and all those who today carry on their legacy, fighting oppression, fighting for our freedoms and our liberties.